Hi guys, you welcome back to Web Technologies. We are still on Laravel for Beginners. We'll be talking about how to manage your CSS and JS using the Laravel mix uh, based on the version of Laravel, which is Laravel 5.4. In the previous versions of Laravel, the 5.12, uh, you actually use the Elixir. But uh, Elixir has been deprecated and uh, Laravel mix has been... Uh, has moved ahead and uh, in the new version of Laravel you'll be using the Laravel mix so in the layout blade PHP I will actually comment out I'll remove the comment of a link directory which is to a style sheet in the CSS folder so uh, looking at it this way we're going to create a CSS folder and in this CSS, we're going to create a style.css file. So we're going to actually get the CSS folder right there in the public directory where you have the public CSS folder. Can you see the CSS folder? We have a default CSS already right inside this folder called app.css. But right here, we're going to create a CSS file called style.css let's say new file style.css enter so inside the style.css we're going to actually issue out some style sheets markup given the body let's give a background green save it up even in your layout blade you save that up as well so let's actually see these in the browser we go to the terminal in our terminal we're going to change directory to the new project php artisan so going to open this with the browser uh, do you notice the background has been changed to green so uh, actually this how to uh, create a style sheet and actually uh, the same thing goes for JavaScript you create a JS folder and you link your JS let's go back to ID and you link your JS just the way you link the style sheet you point it out there you create a JS folder in the public directory and you create your JS your JavaScript file uh, but if you will be uh, going to production you will actually be creating uh, your CSS Sorry, the style of CSS. You actually be using uh, this kind of CSS. You may want to use a CSS preprocessor like SAS or less, uh, which is basically uh, very efficient going to production, uh, producing your app to the public. So we're actually going to be talking about how to achieve this, uh, and we'll be using the uh, Laravel mix. You know, before it used to be the GOP file the JS but this time we're going to actually find out uh, we're going to have the webpack mix.js so this actually replaces the gob file.js can you see where the SAS is being pointed at the resources assets SAS app.csc ss so it's actually right there resources Assets, SAS, app the C, app the SCSS. This SAS can as well be replaced with less, just like this. But actually using SAS, so let's still maintain SAS. But for you to achieve uh, running SAS preprocessor in Laravel, that's some uh, models that are very very important for you. Number one, you need to uh, install Node.js 
and npm because this we actually uh, install dependencies uh, based on the package.json. Let's get to look at the package.json, which is um, just have over here. Uh, so this is actually going to extract uh, some dependencies into the composer JSON, and uh, from there you will be able to have something of this nature called node underscore modules these are all modules of the node.js that you'll be installed right in the directory uh, let's get to look at let's go to our terminals and find out if uh, I have to if node is installed on the machine you type node version so we have version 7.4.0 I will employ you to install the latest version of node uh, the default version of node based on uh, the Ubuntu directories is a four point series but you will I will employ you to upgrade to the latest version whereby we have the six points and the 7.4 series and uh, as well you need to have npm let's get to look at npm version we have 4.0.5 as the version of npm most uh, times when you install node you get npm uh, model up with node so for you to actually install node you visit the node.js.org so that's the site to visit and uh, you can as well install node using nvm uh, I have uh, I have a, another tutorial based uh, for installing of node in Ubuntu machine but let's move on since we have node installed and uh, everything works fine so after doing this you need to type composer install which I have done and afterwards you also type uh, npm install which I have also run when you type the npm install that's when you have your node modules uh, right installed in the directory of the project so afterwards uh, we'll be moving to the resources let's go back to the resources the assets the app.scss let's uh, work on this particular uh, preprocessor which is SAS so we're going to actually create uh, the dollar primary or let's uh, let's declare a variable called primary which is for primary color and uh, give it um, let's say blue so now the body goes this way background still the same background color let's call it blue and we now pass the color the primary which will be primary to save this out uh, for you to actually compile uh, the SAS using the mix uh, functionality uh, you have to run this particular code or you have to run this particular command right uh, in the terminals and the command goes thus you have to run um since we have this installed uh the processor which is actually pointing at the app.css dot scs so we'll go over to the layout which is the style sheet and comment this out get to comment this out so as to use the pre processor sas save that and uh, let's move back to our terminals now we need to type in this command npm run development so this is for development purpose once you run this is actually going to uh, compile the SAS CSS can you see Laravel mix successfully 
built so it's actually going to compile it uh you have the js you know if you have the app js and the same thing goes for the app css so let's look at the app css which we actually be sitting right there in the res uh there's the js let's go back which is sitting in the public and you see the app css and the style css that we created now let's look at the app css do you get to see that it has a background of blue just like the way we pointed it out right there in the as we pointed it out right there in the SARS background of blue that's fine it's uh, actually working so the app CSS uh, has actually changed and uh, that's cool so afterwards we can as well minify the CSS so that it's going to make it smaller and it's going to make it faster to load so let's run the command to actually minify it if you're going for production or you want to actually launch your application to the browser or to the live server it's very good to use uh, the production uh, version of your CSS so you go on npm run production is actually going to minify uh, the the CSS and it's going to, going to make it smaller and uh, it's going to uh, make it faster to load so that's the essence of the minified version of CSS so we have to exercise little patience to get this uh, ripped so it's done let's get to look at it imagine just look at it it has actually minified it uh, take away white spaces make it compact and make it smaller so with this you can actually use the functionality of mix to uh, run your preprocessors uh, SAS you know you can even run uh, your JS you know this is actually uh, an improved version of the elixir so let's get to look at this in the browser okay we're going to run php artisan surf okay uh, that's fine it's because uh, we've actually not linked down to the preprocessor so let's go back to get the link which is actually going to be in the layout blade so instead of style.css it's going to be words app.css so let's take away this link because we commented out for the style we actually created the style now we are for the app.css save it out there go back to your browser you refresh can you have it done so this is how to use uh, the simple style sheet and uh, if you want to use the preprocessor SAS and less you use the mix to actually wrap it with uh, the npm uh, command and you get it uh, rolling you can minify it and at the same time you can also uh, launch for production or you just do for development purpose which is just going to be the normal uh, white spaces in your style sheet and you can have it minified so it's actually going to wrap it together and make it smaller and it's going to actually make the web app launch faster thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this uh, tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time and uh, stay glued to web technologies most, most, most importantly Laravel beginners we have a lot to talk about this is a beginner series and it's going to be useful for you thank you once more have a lovely day bye bye